Moving over to uh, Tennessee. Well, we've got the the bill here in Tennessee, which also is going to um, is going to ban the uh, castration mutilation of children. There's also there's another bill that's making its way through uh, the the uh, through the process right now to become law, and that is a bill to criminalize. Well, it's it's what we're being told is that it's, it criminalizes drag shows or drag shows for children, which it does, but that's not what the bill is solely focused on. What the bill actually does is it criminalizes sexual performances for children of any variety. Okay, so you can't hold any kind of sexual performance and involve children in it. Um, now, on, on the left and the Democrats in Tennessee, they have taken that to be an attack on drag in particular, which like, what does that tell you? When you say, you know what, we should ban sexual performances for children, and they immediately respond by saying, what, so you think the drag should be banned? Oh, oh, so you're admitting that this is a sexual performance for children, huh? Anyway, WKRN uh, here locally has a report on that. Let's watch that. Capitol Newsroom now. Tennessee lawmakers discuss Senate Bill 3 today, <clears throat> also known as the bill to potentially criminalize drag shows. The bill went before two different committees, including the Criminal Justice Subcommittee. News 2's Chris O'Brien brings us inside. The ayes prevail. The bill moves on. If you wish to be recorded as a no, please see the clerk. In front of a packed House, the House Criminal Justice Subcommittee voted to advance a bill to potentially criminalize certain drag shows. And we are fighting against a group of folks who are set on hate, but really have no understanding of what this looks like in, in theory and in practice. Multiple people testified against the bill, saying it unfairly reprimands the LGBTQ community. Last week I went to a drag show and I was forced to walk past a mob of masked men with guns and swastikas to get into that drag show. But the sponsor of the well, bill, Madison County Republican. That didn't happen. So that's a lie. That didn't happen. A, a group with, with swastikas and guns. Where, where, do, where is this, do we have a video of that? Any pictures of that? Whole group of Nazis with, with swastikas outside the drag show? I mean, if there, if there were any swastikas, which I highly doubt that actually happened. Um, it's almost certainly that that's going to be the left that has them, but you know, that's almost certainly leftist agitators who are, you know, walking around with swastikas so they can try to blame it on the right. That they, they do do that. That's something that they do on occasion, but most likely that was just made up. Anyway, continue. Republican representative Chris Todd says his bill has nothing to do with drag shows. And why are we targeting this one thing? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. And so far, Mr. Chairman, the only person that's mentioned anything about drag has been the representative from Knox County. I haven't said a word about that. Republicans did have some concerns, particularly on the vagueness of the bill. Tennessee's own Miley Cyrus at Bridgestone Arena. I've seen her there in the past myself. Would that cross the line? Could she be subject to a uh, pair of handcuffs? based upon well, I hope the so. vagueness. Ultimately, that answer would depend on if this bill passes the full legislature. For now, the bill rests with the full Criminal Justice Committee. In Nashville, Chris O'Brien. Yeah, I mean, you probably... Now okay, the full that's fine. Criminal Justice. Probably shouldn't bring kids to a Miley Cyrus show. Uh, at least not my... I mean, maybe it was a Miley Cyrus show 15 years ago or something. I mean, one thing. But in the modern... Yeah, who would bring a kid... What, Miley Cyrus... Current day Miley Cyrus? You're going to bring a... What? You're going to bring a, a seven-year-old to that? If that's the if that's the the slippery slope here, where now all of a sudden you can't even bring kids to a Miley Cyrus show. Okay, good. What? How is that some sort of like horrifying dystopian reality? If you need a gift for Valentine's Day, well, then you need GenuCell skincare. For the first time ever, every order at GenuCell.com from now until Valentine's Day includes a free beauty box with two luxury gifts. They're, they just introduced their new microbiome moisturizer, which uses the power of probiotics to target skin redness, pesky wrinkles, fine lines, patchy blotches, and other signs of premature aging. These are the same probiotics that are uh, in your yogurt. As it turns out, probiotics are not just good for digestion. They can have the same nourishing benefits on your skin. You can see results in 12 hours or get your money back guaranteed. My talent manager, Tessa, uses GenuCell under eye treatment to help get rid of the bags under her eyes that she claims are my fault for working her so hard. Right now, you can get GenuCell's most popular package for 70% off, as well as your two free luxury gifts. Visit GenuCell.com slash Walsh and get 70% off with your free gifts. Use code Walsh at checkout to have this applied to your account. That's GenuCell.com slash Walsh. GenuCell.com slash Walsh. 
Now, I think it's actually really easy, though, to distinguish between something like a drag show um, and a, you know, a pop star musical performance. It, it would be pretty easy to distinguish between those things. And I think even in the language of this bill, it succeeds in doing that. But my point is that if you were to accept the slippery slope argument, I don't see it as a problem. So to have some basic standards of decency, um, especially as it pertains to content that, that where, where children are involved, that's, that's, yes, we should have that. Historically in this country, we've always had that. It's only very recently where we've decided that, that well, the government has no role whatsoever in enforcing any standards of decency at all. Even when it comes to kids. And so if the sexual degenerates and perverts want to expose themselves to kids all day long and have sexual performance of kids, there's nothing we can do. Because if we were to do anything at all, next thing you know, we're in a handmaid's tale. Like, it's only, it's only very recently that people in this country have become stupid enough to buy an argument like that. Now, the, the reporter there in the, in the news article is not being honest. Uh, what we hear is that uh, is that the sponsors of this, of this bill claim that it has nothing to do with drag shows. And they're not saying it has nothing to do with drag shows. They're saying it's not specifically outlawing drag shows. What they're saying is it outlaws sexual performances for children. And if there is a drag show that falls under that umbrella, then yes, it would be banned. But this would also ban, for example, um, a burlesque performance with with. Uh, featuring women where children are involved. It would ban that too. Now, you might point out that that's not really happening, that most of this stuff is involving drag. But that only tells you something about the people that are putting on these shows. Only, that, that just tells you something about drag. I mean, if, if, if the whole drag industry will come crashing down if they aren't allowed to involve children anymore... Well, then it sounds like the drag industry is, is, is one that should come crashing down. And they continue to tell on themselves so much because they don't even, it, it, a bill like this that prohibits sexualized performances for children, they don't, the, the left, they don't just claim that it's anti-drag. They say that it's anti-LGBT. So if you want a bill that says um, you can't put on a sexual performance for kids, you can't like strip and tear your clothes off in front of kids. You can't have uh, you can't bring your sexual fetishes out and put on a performance featuring them for kids. If you say that, then they say, "Well, that's anti-LGBT." What are you saying about the LGBT community? That if we tell you that you can't sexualize kids, that it's somehow an- are are you saying that this is a that that that's sexualizing children? Is a, is a central fundamental aspect of LGBT culture? Is that what you're saying? Because that would seem to be what you are saying if you are claiming that a bill banning the sexualization of children is anti-LGBT. And that'll do it for this portion of the show as we move over to the members block. Hope to see you there. If not, talk to you tomorrow. Godspeed.